Okay, so I got I got a couple pictures here I want to show you. So the first one, right, is it's Dawn from the new Pokemon game, right? It looks it looks a little weird, right? And then I'll show you this one, right? This one looks so much better. And you want to know why? Cuz it, cuz it's outlined and the saturation is turned down. I don't know why they have done this to the newer Pokemon games where they just pump up the saturation. Like, I'll go back to the first one, right? The, the saturation is pumped up so much that it just, it just doesn't feel natural, right? But you go back and look at this one. It just it just looks it, it looks like that's how it should be, right? Like, I'm not the only one that thinks that. I haven't even talked about the lines, the outlining that's done on Dawn here, right? It looks so much better this way. And a fan did this. It's from Twitter. It's from Twitter. I just feel like there's so much potential with this game and knowing Game Freak, I mean, it's not even made by Game Freak this year. It's made from like uh, L-I-C-A, something like that. I mean, you go look at games like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Pokemon Rangers and stuff like that. Th those are all games that aren't made by Game Freak themselves. And they're all good games. It's not mainline games though, that's the thing. I don't even know if they consider this a mainline game. Because personally, I would. I would say the hype for this is on the level of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, for me at least, because I've waited what, what, 10 years now for this? Pokemon, Pokemon Platinum, Diamond Pro Platinum, those were my first Pokemon games. So I don't know how they could screw this up. Like a copy paste would, I would be so angry if there is nothing different. If there's nothing different and it's not and if it's not even a platinum if it's not even platinum i will be i'll be very angry no, no okay not angry but i'll just I, don't, I wouldn't know how to react to that because if it, if it's not even platinum right there are two fire types in the game and one of them's a starter and who the hell wants a ponita no one does that's why Infernape's cool and all, but like, you can't have him be like the only fire type, right? Like, what? I didn't even want to talk about it, but I have to. Megas. Are Megas coming back? That's the biggest question I have. Because cause Megas are still relevant. Like, you look at Pokemon Go, right? They just added in Megas. They're, they're, they're progressively adding more Megas to Pokemon Go. The You know, releasing them as they go. You know, stuff like that. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee had Megas. But I feel like there's so much potential with the Pokemon from Gen 4 to give them Megas. Like imagine a Mega Torterra, a Mega Apollyon, a Mega Infernape. Like there's so much potential to go with it. And the thing is, if they do bring back Megas, they need to do it in a way that's different from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and X and Y and give every major battle a Mega. Anyway, I think they're missing out on a ton of one money if they don't bring back Megas, because because Game Freak's like uh, c coming first a business, right? They need to make money. And I think having Megas in the game will bring a lot of money. Because I know me personally, I would buy the game anyway. Some people may not buy the game unless there's something cool about it, right? That's why I'm saying, if someone has already played the game, like me, and didn't fall in love with it like I did, and they see... Oh, new Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes, you know? Nothing changed, nothing at all. Imagine you go look at the box art, right? And Primal Dialga, Primal Garantina, Primal Palkia. That would make me buy the game. That would make me buy both copies of the game. I would buy Pearl and Diamond. Okay, so I'm about halfway done editing this video, right? And I go and look on Twitter, and then boom! Pokemon sends this out. The box art is right there. And as you can see, there's no ultimate forms. So like, what now? What is in this game? One to one remake? That's, I can't believe it, honestly. And they also say the release date here. They say November 19th, 2021. That is very close, actually. That is super close. But like, no trailer, nothing. They just drop it like that. Boom. I can't believe it. Anyway, back to the rest of the video. So I think they're missing out on a ton of stuff if they don't bring in Megas. 
Because I feel like primals are like a mega branch off, you know. They're not they're not necessarily megas, but they're on the same category as megas. I think they do need those alternate forms for Dialga and Palkia, or else they're just Dialga and Palkia. And, then and I hope somehow they incorporate the events from Gen 4, like the Shaman, the Darker Eye, Cresselia, you know, the, the stuff like that. Maybe even the Arceus one, if they really get in frisky. I remember the first time walking down that pathway with Professor Oak to find Shaman. That was crazy. That was crazy. I was like, what? I was like, what? Now, all you get is the Pokemon's handed to you in a Poke Center. Like, you remember the Mega Diancy in X and Y? Or Sun and Moon? Well, one of them. Sun and Moon, X and Y, I don't remember. You just walk into the Poke Center and they're like, here, have a Mega Diancy. Like, what? No, no epic story. No cutscene. I, I would like a little quest, you know? Or just like a static encounter, because static encounters... Static encounters, my friend. Those are, those are nice. I think this new, these new remakes also need to stay at the same difficulty of the original. Because Platinum, Diamond, and Pearl, they're not easy games. Like, not at all. I'll still go through Platinum today. And I, I'll, I'll, I'll white out a couple times. Because I'm not expecting it, and I don't overtrain. And you can't overtrain with the mechanics of the game. The EXP all... And I know you can turn it off. You're going to be like, oh, Dimitri, you can turn it off. You can make the game harder. But then it's not naturally hard. I would like a naturally difficult game that I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything because I choose to turn it off. Anyway, people do think we're going to be getting a trailer soon, early June, I believe. And what is it today? It is the 26th. So that means we're pretty close to a trailer if the speculation is correct. And I do think that they should be doing that. Oh, we don't even have a release date yet, though. And hopefully this upcoming trailer, if there is one, you know, we don't know yet, it will have a release date. And depending on when the release date is, if it's if it's set far away, and then they're going to be putting out a trailer every month, like they did for Oraz, if they have no new stuff, there's nothing to put in a trailer. Because the graphics aren't different enough to warrant a bunch of trailers just on how the graphics change. Because Heart Gold and Soul Silver did that, right? Because silver and gold are so much like so graphically different from heart gold and soul silver that they could show just segments of the world in these new graphics and everyone was like oh my god oh my god anyway hopefully we get that trailer soon that's all i have i just want to come on here and rant a bit if you guys like this format of a video i can do it more often it's just i decided hey why not let's let's give it a shot i'll see what i can do i got a little bad lighting here because fucking stupid curtains anyway thanks i will see you later adios